Thanks for the great introduction. My name is Maggie, and I'm currently a staff member at Apollo. I'm really excited to get everyone ready for convention so everyone will have an easy and comfortable experience virtually. This year, the Apollo staff and convention committee members have put together a great program, but we need your help to make sure that everyone can participate according to convention rules. During this tech orientation, we will answer questions on how to toggle the language button on Zoom, participate in convention business using Zoom, and request for language access needs or any convention help using the designated convention hotline number. We'll also include tips and tricks on how to navigate Kumo space and Zoom meeting breakouts so you'll be able to participate at your fullest at convention. Let's get started. If you haven't done so already, please download the Zoom client at zoom.us. If you're using mobile or tablet to call into the convention, please download it from the App Store. To log on to Zoom, please locate your unique convention link in the email you should have received from your Know Before You Go email from Apollo to join our virtual convention. These links are unique to you. Please do not share or distribute. Find the day of convention with the link to the main floor and click on the link. Once you click on the link, you may be asked to join the Zoom webinar and you may see a screen that asks you to complete registration pop-up. All you have to do is type in your name and email address you use to register for the convention in this field. If you're already logged in, you will be logged in using your Zoom account that you have uh, registered with us for convention. If you are not a voting delegate, this is what the non-voting attendee Zoom looks like. You will be joining Zoom in webinar mode. You will not be able to turn on your video during convention business. However, you may communicate with all convention attendees during the convention program using the chat function. You can locate the chat function by clicking on the little chat icon in the bottom middle of your screen on the left-hand side. Click on the chat and you will have the ability to chat with everyone who is attending convention. However, during convention business, you will not have access to the chat as a non-voting attendee. The chat will appear disabled. And it will look like this with chat disabled. If you need a different language, the language toggle is on your bottom right-hand screen with the globe icon, right next to your raise hand bump button. Once you click on the globe icon, please select the language channel you need to hear the interpreter. If you need additional language assistance, you can call our hotline and be connected to a language captain and or interpreter through our convention hotline at when you dial into the hotline, there will be someone to assist you. Please note that during high volume periods, you may be asked to be put on hold or queued for assistance. If you are a voting delegate, this is what your Zoom looks like. You'll see two buttons, additional buttons on the left-hand side of your screen, which include the microphone and the video camera. You can turn these on and off in order to speak or start your video for convention. Please note that all participants will be muted throughout the convention program and only allowed to use their microphones during convention business, which includes voting and elections on resolutions. During convention, you will be required to rename yourself in Zoom. This is especially important for all voting delegates. You will not be able to speak on the floor if your Zoom name and chapter or union affiliation does not match with your delegate credentials. So to rename yourself, click on the dots on your video screen and select Rename. You will type in your name 
your pronouns, your chapter affiliation, as well as your union affiliation. Hit rename to change your name. You can also click on the participants tab and change your name this way by locating yourself in the participants list, clicking the blue button for more, hitting rename, and changing your name that way. We request that everyone who joins our Zoom room please rename yourself to include your chapter, your pronouns, and your union affiliation. Another important part of being a voting delegate is that you will have access to the chat during convention business. We will be using chat function on Zoom to make motions, second motions, debate for and against resolutions, to request points of clarification and points of order. Acceptable chat messages will be pasted into the chat during convention business. If it is your turn to speak, please speak clearly and slowly by unmuting yourself when you're called to the floor. Two delegates may speak for and against each resolution or for and against each amendment for no more than 45 seconds each. If you need the interpreter, the time for interpretation won't be counted against you. A countdown timer for each speaker will be shown and a recognized speaker will have their mic muted when the time expires. During convention business, the chat will be open to voting delegates for acceptable submissions. So when convention business opens, the chat looks like this. And this message will be dropped into the chat. We will also drop acceptable messages into the chat as well. Please use this format when debating on the convention floor. Votes on amendments to resolutions will take place using the raise hand feature on Zoom. We will provide 30 seconds for participants to raise hand before counting the vote. A countdown timer will be available on screen. Please note if you use thumbs up or other reactions, that will not be counted, so we will use that to avoid double counting. To locate the raise hand function on your Zoom screen, it is right next to the globe icon. Hit raise hand when you are called to raise hand by the chair. And you should be able to see your hand raised by hitting the participants. If you're using a mobile device to participate in convention business, make sure you're using the Zoom app. Once you are in the Zoom app, you will see a mute and unmute and start video button, very similar to regular Zoom on your computer. During convention business, the speaker and chair will be pinned to the video, as well as the vice chair who will serve as stack master. You will also see your own personal screen on the top left hand corner. Once you're in Zoom, the first thing you should do is rename yourself. You can do so by clicking the participant button on the bottom right hand corner and renaming yourself with the name you registered for convention. Select your name from the participants list and hit rename. When renaming yourself, please include your union affiliation and chapter affiliation. It's important that your name on Zoom matches with the credentials list to ensure that you are a voting delegate. During convention business, you will need to use the chat function to get on stack. You can access the chat by clicking the three dots labeled more. This will open up another menu where you can select chat to submit acceptable chat submissions during convention business. We'll also need the raise hand function for votes on proposed amendments to resolutions and constitutional amendments. In that same menu that is open when you click on the three dots labeled more, you will see the raised hand function. You can raise and lower your hands using this button during votes. Please double check if your hand is lowered or raised at the right time on your personal video screen. There will also be a timer pinned on screen throughout convention. The timer will show the amount of time left before you will be muted by the chair. 
We'll go over voting in Election Buddy later. Now I'll, I'll introduce what we will use for caucus breakouts and the Kumo Space Convention breaks. After the main convention program is over, you will be instructed to head into your individual caucus spaces. For regional identity caucuses, you will be asked to join a Zoom meeting link where we'll facilitate a breakout room for the caucuses. You will need to click Breakout Rooms on the bottom right-hand corner and click Join to join your region. The link will also be dropped in the chat. For union caucuses, the format will be similar, but a few unions will provide a different Zoom link for their members to join. These will be dropped into the chat. For convention breaks, we will be using Kumo Space. You will need to create an account on Kumo Space at kumospace.com. Apollo staff will drop the link to Kumo Space prior to breaks in convention chat. This link will also be available to you in the email you received from us. To use Kumo Space, you must allow your video and audio to work. Once you enter Kumo Space, you can speak to others and see others by turning your video on and off. You can also perform fun activities like pour yourself a drink. This concludes our convention tech orientation. Thank you so much for being part of convention with us. Most importantly, you should remember that the convention hotline is here for you. If you need anything, please email us at convention at apollonet.org and also call 202-900-8469. Again, the convention hotline is 202-900-8469. The voting convention hotline is 833-328-6837. This number is only for election buddy related voting questions. Again, the number is 833-328-6837. You can also visit us at apollaconvention.org for information about the agenda, caucuses, or instructions on how to vote and also participate in convention. Have a happy convention.